Yo guys, Blaze Dapples here, and with Dragon Ball Legends reveals and stuff for the third anniversary coming up, I just I wanted to take this time to do a final, final last minute prediction for what new characters we might get during this anniversary. And one of my predictions is kind of wild and out there, but with the way Legends is moving these days, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it happened. So, firstly, let's take a look at what banners and events we got going on at the moment. Let's just go see. Uh Okay, uh let's let's go. Okay, we got the multi Z power limit break banner which gives the LF Z power. That's like uh kind of bait, but it could also help you if you pull the new LFs, the new anniversary LFs. Then we got this Legends All Star with the Tournament of Power Android 17 and 18. So that's there this is one of the big ones for me legends future i can see that they're buffing future quite a lot but also when are they not buffing future am i right okay this is nothing super master pack is nothing zenkai awakening super saiyan 4 goku this is also important as well as the super saiyan 4 vegeta bardock i'm not sure it could be bait i mean he's very valuable in this day and age with ev everyone running the, the new Ultra Goku. Cell could be onto something, I'm not too sure. Bruh. But, uh, yeah. And then we got the, f the the Zenkai banners that are kind of free and around until 2029, I guess. Okay, let's go to the events. We have the Legend of Goku event, which gives us those six uh, free-to-play Gokus. And, you know, like, they release a new Goku every day leading up to the anniversary. Tomorrow is Super Saiyan Blue. And we all know what form he gets after Super Saiyan Blue, unless you don't count Kaioken. <laughs> and then we also got this I'm Stronger Now Super Saiyan 4 Goku event, which came out like a month ago, I think. I'm not sure. And then the Ultra Goku event, Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush is always here. Then the EX Koan Zenkai, EX Future Koan Zenkai. Um, you know, they're always buffing future, as I said. And here's another thing I wanted to uh, bring attention to. If we go to PvP and you look at the boost characters, uh, where do we go to the boost characters? Yeah, look who's at the top LF SSB Vegeta like It's a bit strange that he's there like nobody really uses him Because uh, they came out with the new Vados and there's also LF Beerus Like no one will use him unless it's maybe on a Vegeta family team, which no one actually really uses as well so like most of these things stack towards future and GT, and then and then we had uh, a few hints thrown our way, and one of them was a man juggling balls, and that looks to be a hint at Zamasu judging by how he poses, but it could also be a transforming Sin Shenron into a Mega Shenron, because you see this, uh, he's juggling six balls right, and when Sin Shenron becomes Omega. He absorbs six dragon balls, the power of six dragons. And then we also had that craft looking, hinting at, you know, uh, it reminds me of the time where Vegito Blue stabbed Zamasu with his spirit sword. Or it could possibly be sort of Hope Trunks, even. Uh, I don't see them releasing another Vegito Blue unless they are absolutely mental and want to troll us, but. That's just my take on the hints, but for now, what I think we are getting is, what I think is 100% confirmed is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, like, with all the GT hype that we've been getting so far, we got the new LF Super Saiyan 4, we got the Zenkai Super Saiyan 4s, I think that's a given, and we got Zenkai Super 17 by the way, who I also forgot. 
Uh, I think we might get a fusion Zamasu. And possibly sort of out trunks, I'm not sure. Because they seem to be buffing future a ton, but also when are they not buffing future, am I right? Vegito Blue, I'm not sure. I mean, they could be mental and release a transforming Vegito Blue, I guess. Uh, and as for the androids, I do see them maybe releasing Tournament of Power themed units, I'm not sure. But also, like, they've been, like, they've been hinting at Future, Tournament of Power, and GT. Like, those seem to be the three main points for the anniversary. So this is my wild prediction, yeah, and this might seem a bit crazy. But if it happens, I'm just putting this out there now. We will get a triple step up band. That's my wild prediction. If Legends was to throw GT hype, Tournament of Power hype, and Future hype all at the same time, like this, I say they'll just give us everything now, all at once. That way we might have to just go buy crystals, but that's just my wild prediction. Highly unlikely, but very possible as well. So in case I'm right, I'm just putting my thoughts out there now. So my predictions are Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Fuse Zamasu, Transforming Sin Shenron into our Mega Shenron. Possibly Ice and Nova Shenron. Uh, God of Destruction Topo. Uh, possibly Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta. And they also have to give us a new Goku. Like, what legend, what Dragon Ball anniversary would it be without a new Goku? And the prime suspects for that I see are. Either Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku or Universal Spirit Bomb Goku from GT. I don't see them releasing a uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku yet because I mean that would kind of be overkill at this point but it's a possibility since they've been hyping tournaments of power up so much and they've been giving us all these Gokus you know I, don't, I wouldn't put it past them. Sort of Hope Trunks Fuse Zamasu, I said already. Um, and as for Zenkai's, Zenkai's during the anniversary, I predict we might get a uh, Super Vegito Zenkai. He's been sitting there for ages, just waiting and begging for his Zenkai. So I think it's finally the boy's time to get his shine. Especially with the, the new Zamasu, Omega, and Gogeta potentially coming. They could all like form a nice team together, all fusion warriors, you know? Because I feel like they're going to be buffing fusions as well during this anniversary. And of course, future. So I also predict that uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the LF1, might also get a Zenkai. Because uh, why would he just be a random bonus character in PvP? That seems kind of strange to me. And another Zenkai I'll, I would like to throw out there, but this is just wishful thinking on my part. Uh, Super Baby 2, because, uh, you know, the other two units that he came out with called Zenkai, so... The Holy Trinity, my Holy Trinity, I would love that to come back. And also there's the tie-in with Regen, like him and Zamasu are Regen, him and Omega are Regen. So that's just my uh, thought process on there. But anyways, that's just been my predicting. Smash the like button, subscribe. All the best for the anniversary. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll catch you all down the road.